Hello everybody, we are now at the research center CERN in, in the border between Switzerland and France and, and it's a very special moment for me because it's my first time visiting the center and this is uh, just uh, showing you a prototype and if you see on the wall, uh, on the walls here are the views, uh, the, the, the views we are. If you look here to this piece, we are exactly on this view, okay? We are very close to all the big facilities of the, the research center. And if you see this, this is all the tunnel where most of the research is done. In this tunnel, we have some points where you accelerate the, the particles exactly to do the research and you have some colliders and based on these collisions you find different particles so it's it's a very complex uh, concept and it's a very it's a very strong physics concept but basically one of the biggest research and the most relevant research that was made here was the Higgins boson so on the 50s uh, uh, Higgins uh, professor Higgins discovered and, and, and did the theoretical uh, confirmation that this, this kind of particle would exist. And only very recently, uh, with this technology, we could prove that what the theory was, was suggesting is really true. And, and the best explanation was given by, by my host here, Inacio, that, that is a researcher here, that he said to me that it's like you think that the Geneva Lake, the lake that uh, Geneva is overlooking, it's like a Higgins field, okay? And then you can think about a small tiny fish, okay, on this, on this field. So if you think this, which kind of interaction does this small fish make with this big field? It's a very tiny, so this could indicate a smaller, a, a, a smaller mass of this uh, of this entity, but if, for example, myself, I'm, I'm much bigger, then I interact. I will create much more turbulence, so I will be I, I will have more mass. So it's a very very complex. But this was the kind of piece that was missing on the full concept when you talk about nuclear research. So this was something like the missing. Uh, particle that they could offer here. So it's a very technical and people from all over the world do research. Now we are here in, inside and, uh, and I want just to show you two devices that are very important. This is an accelerator. What does this, and, and look, this is what is the most interesting piece, is that this is the actual size. Because I thought in the past that this would be huge and no so what happened? The particles, they come here. And then there is a positive pole here and a negative here. So for example, the protons are positive. Sorry, the negative one. The protons are positive. So the negative one attracts the proton. And then immediately, there is a reversion to the positive. So it's like giving a, a, a push on the particle. Why we need to do that? Because they need to gain energy to circulate around the tune, uh, uh, all the tunnel. And it's very important, what do we want? We want to make sure that the particles will collide. And then after that, it's like, uh, uh, imagine your clothes leaving the wash, uh, the, the wash machine. So it's, it's pretty much crazy, they tend to go outside. And then what happens? Most of the 27 kilometers of, of the, the accelerator, it's covered by this. And this is a depot. What happens? The particles come inside here. If you see the elevation here, it's exactly, they come from this. So it's like a big, big magnet. And what this is intended for, it's intended for to correct the, the, path, and the, the path of these particles over, over the accelerator. And why? Because if you do not use this, the particles will go everywhere. And what you want, you want to increase your chances of collision. So it's very important. You want to make sure that the collision will happen. So this will correct things that will leave this in a, in a more chaotic way to a more uh, a convergent way. So I, I'm talking about billions, billions of particles. And they need, you need to find evidence when they crash that the results will appear. 
Now we are just leaving CERN and it was a fantastic visit. So I just want to thank Inacio and Juan for helping me to get here. And it was really, really fantastic to see the progress. So the World Wide Web and many other things were discovered here.